Hi, uh, these two things are emergency locator transmitter. This one is a CANAD 406 AP. And the second one is from ELT. This one is very light, the battery is not present inside. But the second one uh, works. Today we will see this one. It is less complicated. We will see the other one another day. First we will see what is inside. And after we will try to power on this thing and see what is transmitted. So on that side there is a BNC connector for the antenna. There are two small banana plugs here. For external power supply, probably. And there is an on-off switch and auto also. So this thing was designed by Dorn and Margolin, Bohemia, New York. There is probably an accelerometer inside. Let's open this thing to see what is inside. Okay, so there is a small PCB. The circuit is quite simple. I expected to find something much more complicated. There is, there is a 40 13 it seems, so dual flip-flop. And on the back, it seems there is a 55-6, a dual timer. And we can see effectively this, uh, this looks like a shock detector or something like that. And there is a crystal also. So this thing is quite simple can be interesting to make it work, so I will remove the board, because we don't need the enclosure. I don't know how to remove this thing. Okay, so I think I will need to remove these uh, big spacers here. And after, we can have access to the screws. Okay, this is complicated because the BNC is soldered to the PCB and the switch as well, but the switch can be removed from that side. And uh, but we have also to desolder these two banana sockets here. Okay, so this thing was not easy to remove. We have three trimmer capacitors. We have two transistors and probably high frequency transistors to N4427. And this one is the same. And effectively, there is a dual timer and a dual D flip flop. And this thing is very simple. And we have another transistor here, which is, I cannot see, this is a PN. 3563 There is another transistor here, the PN5142, and there is a crystal, and the frequency is written on the top will be difficult to read. It is written 293.1385. This seems to be a very simple transmitter. It's just an oscillator which is locked to the to an overtone of this crystal. Then the signal is amplified and fed to the antenna and there should be a modulation using this timer. There is also this thing, which seems to be a shock detector. It was on the direction of flight, as you can see. As you can see, this thing is in series with a resistor. 
the resistor is connected to the base of this transistor connected to ground so this permits the activation of this transistor and the collector is connected to the switch here so this is the, maybe the automatic mode in automatic mode probably the transmitter is automatically activated using this shock detector so first I will do the reverse engineering of this board I think I will need one hour or something like that this is a schematic diagram of this transmitter. So there is on the left here the oscillator using the crystal. Following the oscillator, there are two amplifier stages which are made with this high frequency transistor to N4427. The output is here to the antenna. And then there is a modulation on the top. The modulation is on off. The two output stages actually are turned on or off using this transistor which is connected to the power supply. There is this oscillator and there is another one which permits that to have a frequency modulation of the first one and this permits the audio modulation of the high frequency signal here. The on off switch is here. There is a manual mode. In this case the battery is connected directly to the power supply. The positive line and the negative line to the ground here. And there is also an automatic mode. In that case, the power supply is activated when the acceleration is above a given limit, which is provided by this acceleration switch. So when the switch is set in automatic mode, then this contact will be closed above a given acceleration, and this will turn on this SCR. And this permits to connect that line to the ground Actually, this SCR is in parallel to the manual switch here. In automatic mode, this switch is open. I have connected this board to a power supply of 12 volts. What we can do first is to hear the modulation. So for that purpose, I will connect a loudspeaker from that point to the ground, because this one will be too strong. If we connect a loudspeaker from that point to the ground, we can hear what should be heard by the receiver. So I have prepared this loudspeaker. So I will connect from the ground to pin 12. Okay. Now it should be interesting to measure the output frequency of this thing. I will use a spectrum analyzer for that purpose. There is something strange because the current flowing into the power supply is quite low. Current is 25 milliamps approximately. So I think there is something wrong on this thing. So I have connected a high impedance probe to the spectrum analyzer. This is this probe. This is the Tetris 1000. The bandwidth is 1 gigahertz and the capacitance here of 1.3 picofarad. So first uh, what we can do is to check the signal here on the collector of this transistor. L7 is this one. Okay, so we have something. I will change the span. Something like 200 megahertz. My frequency start at zero. Okay, so we have uh, something close to 100 megahertz. We can check now on the collector of uh, Q2 here. Okay, so it seems that there is less power on the, on the output of Q2 than Q1, this is strange. So it seems that there is a problem with this board. So I don't want to go further. Anyway, it was interesting uh, to see this kind of schematics. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.